So our punching hasn't worked. He just looks a bit too weird. God, he struck me over and over. And I... Um, the only thing that I can think of is... So where he goes in and out, if I delete... So if he stays in for a little bit... Because, I mean, if we can do it like once... And then he comes out... And so with this arm, he can kind of do an uppercut. So bang. And then again. So I think that kind of works. And that kind of breaks it up a little bit. In anger, he struck me over. And over. And but that doesn't work at all. So I think I might shift D that one. And he punches. I do like the uppercut feeling. Yeah. In anger, look. he struck me over and over. <laughs> I think his body just moves too fast. Let's go G minus two. That's the same frame. G two. And I think I might keep that one. I don't agree with that though. Shift D. But I will just make him move his body just ever so slightly. Okay. In anger, he struck me over and over. And I stood there. Cool. Actually, I think that looks real nice. I'm going to cheat now and go shift D. All that. And now what, In now anger, what do we got? He struck me over and over. And I stood there till he could hit no more. As he cried over the corpse, I walked away. So, where does he stop punching? And I stood there till he could hit no more. So at this point, he's got to kind of um, bring his arms down and... As he cried. Bring his arms down. So this is his last punch. I don't think so. I think this probably should be his last punch. So I'm going to select all. Alt R. Which resets everything. Oops. And let's delete all keyframes. So let's have a look how he stops. As he. So maybe we should get rid of this keyframe, this keyframe. And that just gives him a Until longer time. Him. As he cried over the call. And at this point here, as he, as he cried over the corpse. I think, I think he should be on his ground, on his knees. Looking at his daughter. As he cried over the corpse, I walked away. And, I and then what we'll do is... As he falls to his knees, we will do a shot of him doing the walk away. Um, but let's first, let's actually go back here. He's dropped the body and I, and he gets punched here. 
let's just go back one. I and it's just going to be kind of slight movements as he comes back comes back to take it and then even though he's not connecting the dude's punching pretty fast come back and that one hurt him Okay, come back. Another direct punch. And so as you can see, we kind of, um, maybe we might actually just like actually knock him back as well. And he recovers. And hopefully it doesn't look like he's having a seizure feet in anger he struck me over and over wow sometimes i even get amazed that looks quite nice did he come back and he comes back only to feel the love again and it's just really good it's just it's such a subtle movement because if it was much bigger then it would look like he's having yeah so that keyframe here, I believe, should be there. G1. And it's going to move back in. Oops. And feel the wrath of that one. I think he's actually got a chance now to come back in and really take his toll. Just move him some more into the punch so that when he actually gets hit, he actually gets hit. Whoops. And I mean, you know, we're, we're breezing through this. Uh, animating I mean you know it's a, it's a little bit repetitive but how quick have we knocked out a lot of frames um, my goal is to get this down to an art form where I can do a minute an hour a minute I think if I could do that that's a great accomplishment but I mean obviously one, as my library builds, I'm not going to have to do as many modeling. I've got all the parts there. I can just import. Um, the other thing is, is we need to add in a few more characters, um, but technically we can get away with not adding too many more in. Uh, I mean, we could actually get away with no one there because it's uh as the town awoke uh as the town awoke and that's the bit where he um oof, that's a big punch that's where he can walk in it can be like a um just saying you know that dawn's breaking Dawn's breaking, but he's a vampire and he's walking out. I said that wrong. Dang it. Oh, well. <laughs> I bet you if, uh, if I didn't say anything, I don't think anyone would have noticed. And so I'm pretty sure I'm almost done. Am I almost done here? Oh, gosh, plenty. Oops. And getting there slowly. And 
and oh, maybe maybe just get him to move in slightly on that one. And then this is the big punch. It really whops him one. And then he kind of comes back in. Oh, oh, another punch. <laughs> All right. I think we should just have a quick squeeze on how that's looking. Father's feet. In anger, he struck me over and over. And I stood there till he could hit no more. Wow, yeah, that looks good. <laughs> I mean, although it's, it's a little bit labor intensive, but I mean, you know animation the nature of the beast it is labor intensive but you know what doing a 3d animation we're not doing a 3d animation we're just doing a 2d animation and all i'm doing is moving two bones i'm not moving a whole chest and i'm not moving the arms i probably will go back and move the arms i reckon and this is him he's finally finished We might give him a moment as he falls to a decried over the corpse. I walked away, and as I heard, as he cried over the corpse, I walked away. And so let's leave him at this point here. And I want him on his ground. And does it say, I'm trying to remember, at what point does it As say? As he cried over the corpse, I walked. As he cried over the corpse, I walked away this bit here. So I, oops, I about here, I about here. I'm going to go size X minus one. And uh, then we'll do another quick walk cycle.